It's new bike day. I'm pretty excited. Why don't we find out what we got? Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> yeah, she wants to boogie. Hi, I'm Mike with 50MTV and I just picked up a brand new bike. Let's take a look. That's it. <laughs> Check it out. That's the new Ibis Ripley uh, Generation 4. Super excited about this bike. Let me give you the rundown. This is the extra large frame. Uh, this is the NX build. This is the lowest level build that they have. So it's the entry level Ibis and yet it still has that beautiful full carbon frame and uh, I think they call it slate blue. Uh, pretty excited. I, on this bike I only did uh, two upgrades and one uh, option uh, where you can go either way. So I'm going to kind of walk you through the bike and show you what we got. Uh, let's start up front. So we got the uh, Fox 34. This is the Performance. They have the Performance and then they have the factory with the Kashima. Uh, we got the lower end, the performance. And just so you know, if you're thinking about buying this bike, it's not the performance elite, the middle one, it's the lower one. It's just the performance. But again, I'm real excited about it. I think it's going to be fantastic. Uh, up here in the cockpit, we've got uh, the level T brakes. Um, and uh, this should work really well for us. I've had them on my other bike and was very happy with them. Uh, and if we need to, we'll upgrade them in the future. But right now I'm pretty excited. I, I did do one upgrade that's right here. This is the carbon bar. Uh, so instead of the aluminum, I went carbon to try to ease uh, any issues with my hands and fatigue. I did a demo on this bike and it had carbon and it worked excellent. So I highly recommend that little upgrade. I think it was an extra 70 or $80. It was pretty darn reasonable. Uh, back here, we've got the uh, uh, Fox DPS shock and again this is just the base model you can also do the uh, factory with the kashima uh, they're the same weight and so i just went with this by the way back up here on the fork the only difference that i could discover uh, between the um, fox 34 uh, performance and the factory is that it doesn't have the kashima coating so this is just black but i did check this is still the black ionized I think that's how you say it. And it's uh, kind of that harder shell, which is pretty cool. And then it just has the uh, fit grip damper instead of the fit four damper. Uh, and I think that ends up being a slight difference in weight. I think it was a third of a pound. Um, and that's why I've come back here to the DPS. The difference between this one and the um, factory is nothing that I can tell. It's the exact same weight. I can't, I think actually there was one slight difference in open. You had three open options instead of one. Uh, this does have the three different uh, uh, selections, uh, open, firm, and closed, although I think they call it something else. But then when you're in full open on this one, that's it. You just have the one option. And on the factory, I think you have three. Uh, but I didn't think that that was worthwhile with this bike because it does such a great job in open. Uh, but you might want that in yours. All right, so the rest of the bike, what else we got? We got the cranks. We got a 32 tooth uh, NX. And again, this is uh, the lowest version that they do. So it's a little heavier, but it works pretty good for me. Uh, we got the SPD pedals. If you hang in there till the end, we're going to do a weight on this thing as well. Uh, back here, we've got the Eagle, the uh, NX Eagle. So we're going uh, 11 through 50 on the tooth. And we've got the NX shifter, which I just did a quick uh, up the street run and it's doing pretty good. There was a couple little clicks, but I haven't had a chance to iron anything out yet. So I'm not gonna be too concerned. Uh, on the rims here, we've got the aluminum. We've got the S35, so 35 uh, millimeter width. Pretty excited to try those wide babies out. And then on the tires, I did go ahead and get these uh, Agassi. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, As Asagai. <laughs> it's a weird name to say in America, but uh, I wanted to try these out. I heard they're pretty good. The only thing is they're really heavy. So your other option is the um, Nobby Nicks. And looking it up online, it appears that the difference in weight for having the two Asagais versus the two Nobby Nicks is 1.2 pounds. So it's a pretty significant weight difference. And I may end up going back 
for a lighter day, but I got a lot of sharp rocks in my area and these, these look like they're pretty substantial rough tires. In fact, when I was reading about them, I think they were downhill tires. So um, what else do we got? We've got um, the SRAM brakes. Again, these are the uh, level T's and uh, I, they work fine for me on my other bike and we'll see how they do here. Uh, if I end up getting into trouble where they're not working or fading, we may end up upgrading in the future, but I'm pretty excited about this bike and uh, real excited to get it out on the trail. Right now we've got a bunch of snow and uh, it's been melting and now we got mud and I'm not sure when I'll be able to get out, but I really wanted to share this with you. Oh, let me tell you the one other upgrade I did. How silly, I almost missed it right here. See how long that uh, uh, dropper is? That is a 185, a 185 Bike Yoke Revive. And uh, that was the other upgrade I did. And when you buy it, it's not that much. I think it was, again, maybe another $70 for that upgrade. Uh, to get it and it's completely worth it. It's such a cool little um, uh, dropper. It's got this little device right here that you can uh, um, turn and push the seat down and when you do that and push pull it back up, what it does is it re eliminates any air that gets caught in the chamber. So if you have ever had that on a dropper where it's kind of bouncy, uh, it'll take care of that. It'll knock that air out and be go right back up to full extension. So pretty excited about this bike. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little weight. We're gonna find out what does this thing weigh? Go ahead and take your guess and we're about to find out. Okay, so here we are. We've got the bike up on the scale. Let's find out what it is. You can see, hopefully you can see it is completely dangling. And uh, let's check it out. Did you got your guess? And here is the answer. I'm reading 28.86. 28.86 on the pounds. I'm real excited about that. I'm, I believe my scale is correct. I don't know. It's a pretty cheap one, but I am excited about this. Here's the reason why. This is the NX. This is the heaviest model that they have. And uh, I got the heaviest, fattest tires that they've got. You can do the Nobby Nix, the other option. It's 1.2 pounds lighter. So that would put us at, I think, 27 point six so about 27 and a half pounds uh the nx going from nx to gx you would save about a half a pound based on my quick calculations i think it's 0.6 pounds and uh if you get the upgraded fork i think it's a 0.3 pounds uh if you did it that way i'm trying to see what else i can help you with here um oh wheels if so these are the aluminum wheels and if you go with the carbon wheels i think that it, it doesn't drop as much as as i thought it would i think that's and i could be wrong you might want to check this out i thought it was only like a half a pound i thought it would be more than that but they are pretty wide these are 35 millimeter uh, uh internals and at least that's the way i understand it to be so uh this is pretty cool, pretty fun, pretty exciting day. Cannot wait to get this thing out on the trails. It's gonna be a while. I gotta wait for some good weather. Uh, also, I'm gonna probably wrap that thing before I take it out since I can't take it right away. And maybe I'll bring you along on the wrap and we can see how that works. I just bought a, a ride wrap and we'll see if that thing works very well. Uh, but this is just gonna be awesome. I'm real excited about this bike and I uh, wanted to share it with you. So if you have any questions about this Ripley, uh, this is the 2020 Ripley, um, it's, the, it's the V4. And oh, let me tell you one other really cool thing. So I went in to order the bike and I've been reading online about these super long delays for people where they've been waiting one, two, three. I just read two days ago, I read about a guy who had wait four months. Uh, another YouTube guy, uh, he had to wait two months to get his and uh, I'm like, man, that's a long time. So I went in to, to order this thing and they, I went to the biggest dealer in the US, by the way, according to them, uh, of Ibis Bikes. And um, they said, uh, we have a lot and they showed me, they actually had a lot on the wall. So I'm gonna tell you their name in a minute if you ever wanna go there uh, to get something quick. And, I, and they said, yeah, but blue in extra large, we don't have that. And they're really delayed. It's, it could be till the spring, which is like in about three months. I'm like, oh man, I'm gonna have to wait three months. I'm like, well, go ahead. Put, I'm gonna put a deposit down so I can get my name on the list. 
a week later, they call me, they got the bike. They got it rushed in and they got it built up and ready to go, really cool. So if you're in Metro Denver or you, you cruise through Metro Denver for some reason, you gotta talk to the guys at Pedal Pushers, Pedal Pushers and Golden. They got this bike quick for me. They did a wonderful job. Uh, the guy who helped me out over there, his name is Sheldon. He was awesome, really awesome. And over time, I've also spoken with Chris and the owner, Eric, and did a great job getting me uh, to get this bike and get it all set up. Uh, they didn't know that I, I do this kind of thing. Uh, they just thought I was a regular guy, and I kind of am. But I just wanted you to know that this is unsolicited. They did a phenomenal job over there at Pedal Pushers. So I'm real excited about this bike and cannot wait to take it up and uh, cannot wait to take you with me uh, on this new Ibis Ripley. All right, uh, if you have any questions about it, put them down in the comments section. Uh, if you like this kind of content, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, maybe subscribe, and you can see the new content when it comes out. If you wanna see when I wrap this thing, go ahead and subscribe so you can see when that comes up. And uh, I will be riding this all over the trails as well. I may try to take it out in the winter, um, or we may have to wait till the spring, but we'll get you uh, taken care of and get your Ripley fix. All right, thanks guys. This is Mike with 50MTB. Have a great day. This bike is awesome. <laughs>